a small, life-saving effort to combat Africa's biggest killer. In the air, barely visible, are mosquitoes carrying the deadly malaria parasite. Last September, Rakidieta's 14-year-old niece woke up in this bed, suffering from pains in her stomach. They took her to the doctor, who sent her back home, saying she contracted malaria. Then followed an intense fever, aches and nausea. Aminata never recovered. The doctors diagnosed her too late. She was a child, just 14 years old, full of life. She was just days away from graduating from middle school when she suddenly died. Every two minutes, a child dies of malaria worldwide. The fight against the parasite starts here, in this hospital lab in Dakar. Not mean every second when you are infected by malaria is counting. Every second. The parasite sent Professor Ndiaye in a coma as a child. Now he's doing everything he can to save other children from suffering. His team developed an early detection kit. In just an hour, the machine can recognize even the tiniest amount of parasite in the blood. He says this is key to stopping malaria, saying the parasite often goes undetected. As far as hour by hour, the parasite will multiply in the blood. And if he reaches a level of blood blood that contaminated and infected, this compromises the life. Humans can not only act as reservoir to the parasite, but also spread it when bitten by mosquitoes during a malaria outbreak. Although Senegal and five other African countries have reduced malaria, according to the UN, 2016 saw five million more cases. Most were in sub-Saharan Africa. The disease is coming back, and coming back more strongly, killing a lot of people. In Dakar, researchers and health policymakers gather to discuss ways to eradicate the parasite altogether. Some discuss the use of traditional plants. Others wait to beat a parasite that has become resistant to drugs. And so there's a sense of urgency with scientists gathered here sharing new techniques and research in order to help African countries come closer to eliminating malaria. At stake is protecting the hundreds of millions of people across the world for who fighting malaria is a daily battle. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dakar.